Yeah, we back. They tried to stop us. I don't know what the fuck happened there. That really pisses me off. Let's make sure this dish is running right. Hmm. Still says I'm off one. Let me check mine. Hold on, it's going up now. Nah, we good again. Alright. Thank goodness. They tried to stop us. I don't know what, what happened there. There we go. Early Alright. What is up, everybody? I apologize for the delay. I apologize for my sponsors and my musical guests um lawrence green you know we love your comedy set here i will of course get back to it i'll play it at the end of the show because we can run into overtime there i don't really care um echo sykes will get back to your music video too what is up everybody it's your boy big d domasaurusrex.com back again here on twitch tv they try and stop me but they can't do it it is what it is i got my boy Sean the Intern with me today yeah, live. Yeah. Sean the Intern, welcome live on air to Twitch TV for the first time ever. How does it feel, my guy? Great. Easy, man. I remember doing it on the phone, and now we got all this high-tech stuff, man. People can watch us. So, yeah, we got uh, Sean the Intern. Like I said, he's over there in the bottom right corner. Don't mind the double up uh, of me, you know. You're seeing the behind the green screen look there. Sean, is there any way you can get me out of your screen, bro? Is that a possibility? We're working on production here still. The, you're not on. I have my... Hmm. Wait, like, you? I wonder how I can get you out of my screen. That way they don't see me in your screen. Oh, so it's like screen sharing me? Disable my video. There we go. There. Beautiful. All right. That's what we did before. Yeah. So, video production 101. We're working on it. Welcome back live to the show. I apologize about the mishaps again, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for bearing with us here. I got my boy Sean, the intern, once again coming in live from Wesley Chapel. What's going down in the chapel, Sean? Not a whole lot, man. I'm actually over here in Tampa today, bro. Um, over here visiting some family, wanted to make sure I could kick it into the show today for a little bit. But hey, man, it's a beautiful day outside. For some reason, it's not scorching hot. Sun's still coming up. I'm waiting on one o'clock to roll around so I can turn on some football, man. And we're super excited for today's slate of action. Of course, we gave you three winners yesterday. We were three and one on the day. Georgia Tech let us down against Clemson, had a bunch of turnovers, nothing really you could do about that from the Georgia Tech standpoint. That Clemson team is real deal. And uh, Jimmy Knox, though, 3-1 and one yesterday. We're looking to get some more winners from him today. We got the picks coming up for you later in the show. We got our DraftKings lineup. We got our FanDuel lineup. I do want to shout out my sponsors once again. Shout out to DraftKings. FanDuel, just use the link at domosaurusrex.com. Click on them. It'll take you direct. You'll get a uh, super, super cool exclusive bonus that you can only get here from the Big D Show um, when you sign up. And you can win right alongside with us today. There's a bunch of free rolls, a bunch of action. If you're not taking advantage of the picks I'm giving you yet, why are you watching the show, first of all? I appreciate it if you are just watching to watch. But if you want to win, if you want to make some money right along with us, this is the way to do it. Uh, Horse Racing Park, shout out to them. Of course, Greenhawk Studios, if you were with us for the original stream, you did see Lawrence Green's comedy set. I'm going to play it again at the end of the show. Shout out to them. I appreciate you guys as always. Shout out to our newest sponsor, The Mix. My boy Sal over there, always playing the music, supporting us. Of course, if you don't know, I am Domasaurus Rex. I am a musical artist. You can find all of my music and my uh, other endeavors here at DominusSourceRex.com. Sean the Intern, also on some of those tracks, very good himself. You can help donate to us right here at PayPal. 
and help our cause by giving you the best content daily instead of just weekly as we do right now. Next concert, of course, is the Vibes 2118 album release party at the Blue Note here in Tampa. Going to be super cool. We are going to have a video production of it as well. It's going to be a live album. Folks, yes, I'm letting the cat out of the bag. It's going to be a live album similar to how they used to do back in the day. You're going to see it on Spotify, everywhere that music's put out. Super cool, super excited, super uh, Hey, we should stream that, that, bro. Oh, trust me, buddy. It's all in the bag. We're, it's, it's on the way. Don't let the cat out of the bag too soon. I'm already giving them too much information, my producer's telling me. So I'm going to stop them right there. Go to DominosaurusRex.com. Check that out now. Shout out to all of the sponsors yet again. Let's get to our DraftKings lineup of the day. Of course, Sean, there's no Bucks today. Playing tomorrow night on Monday Night Football. What game are you most excited about today? Who are you Who are you trying to see in action? Who are you ready to see play? Hey, man, I want to see the Eagles bounce back. They're starting Carson Wentz. I'm interested to see what he's doing with that knee brace. I'm going to see how he's rocking. Um, Hey, we we got to give a shout out to those Browns though, man. You're wearing that jersey, man. Baker Mayfield came in and put it on the Jets, man. That was embarrassing for the Jets to get trampled on, man. First win in almost what well, it's been a year since 2016, I think. Right? Yeah, it's been quite a long time, of course, since your boy Johnny Manziel actually got a W, and. Um, yeah, we're uh, you know Cleveland. I'm I'm wearing this for you guys. Shout out to Cleveland. Of course, the Browns are off this week, getting a little bit more time to, um, you know, mesh and put that thing together over there. But they're gonna keep getting better. Of course, they looked a lot better with Baker Mayfield into the lineup. He put some energy and some spark into that team. And not to downplay Tyrod Taylor at all, but he's he's better on a team that. Um, needs the game managed and, and the Browns are in need of, of weapons you know badly so uh, can't blame them for the switch there Tyrod I'm sure he'll bounce back on another team and at least be a backup somewhere and if not um, you know there's not a bad living being a backup in the NFL right Sean you're making a whole lot of money yeah man and then especially if you can I mean Tyrod Taylor I mean, look at Ryan Fitzpatrick too I mean that's a, another perfect example. They kind of bounce back off of each other. You can you can see that being a backup, it's not bad. You still get. I believe they signed Ryan Fitzpatrick for thirteen point two million, and I guarantee if he goes somewhere next year, if the Bucks don't decide to keep him, whatever they do, um, he'll either get a raise or he'll go somewhere for more money. It's all about the opportunity of being the backup. You know can't stay uh, content with being the backup because that's when you'll settle and fall. I mean, how do you go wrong, though, being the backup? Again, you know, you're making $13 million if you're Ryan Fitzpatrick. You're getting to play for the time being. You're riding the hot hand. And if you do mess yep. up, you know, you're just the backup. So, whatever. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. Exactly. It's the trickle-down theory. You're the most loved guy on the team. Uh, so moving on to our lineups today, there's a big slate of action, of course, going over the games today. Indianapolis at Philly, Cincinnati at Carolina, Tennessee at Jacksonville, New Orleans at Atlanta, Denver at Baltimore, the Giants at Houston, Green Bay at Washington, the Bills at Minnesota, San Fran at KC, the Chargers at the Rams, Bears at Arizona, Dallas at Seattle, and of course, New England at Detroit tonight on Sunday Night Football. I do like your theory today of Carson Wentz coming back for the uh, Eagles. I'm very excited to see how he plays. I'm not quite ready to put him in my lineup yet, but um, mm -mm. you know, definitely ready to see if he can kind of come back and make a bounce back from you know that knee injury. It's been a couple of weeks now. He's had time to settle in. They didn't rush him back. Um, they're kind of feeling the heat a little bit now, though. You know, with a couple losses early in the season, of course, one of the Bucks as well. And uh, they're starting to get criticized and talked down on a little bit. They are the defending Super Bowl champions. Uh, can Wentz bounce back today? It's yet to be seen. Indianapolis not the best defense on the world, but I do like this matchup for Indianapolis offensively. Andrew Luck, he's come back off his injury. He's had a couple of games to kind of settle back in, taking on a Philly defense that has been absolutely atrocious in the passing game so far this season, 27th in the league. Uh, in points per game against 
and look for Andrew Luck to kind of put it all together today against a team that was torched by Ryan Fitzpatrick last week. I look for him and T.Y. Hilton to hook up early and often. Of course, Hilton, kind of that forgotten star, been a, a pro bowler several seasons, um, over a 1,000 yards. Basically, every year he's been healthy. And, um, you know, just a mega guy to go to early and often. Look for him to expose Philly's pass defense, along with tight end Eric Ebron, who I've also taken in this lineup. He's looked good since coming over from Detroit. Needed to get out of that Lions funk. Andrew Luck loves to target his tight end. Jack Doyle is not available for this game. Look for Ebron to get the majority of the red zone targets from the tight end position. What do you think about that, Sean? Do you think the Indianapolis Colts can kind of air raid the, the Eagles today in a similar fashion that the Bucks did? Um, I believe that they will, but I also think that the Colts got a they, – they, Fletcher Cox is hurt, um, and I can't pronounce his name. His name's like Naeem Hines. Um, he's the running back for – Colts and the Colts are looking for someone, uh, someone a little bit more consistent because that's what they don't have as a running back. Mm-hmm. I swear that I, I, I can't even think of the a... Marlon Mack's been injured early in the season. Of course, their their pick from USF from last draft. He hasn't really quite lived up to his draft expectations yet. He's been hurt and hasn't really been on the field. So they're definitely looking for, out of production for the for the uh, running back position for sure. And and you know Luck's going to have to carry this team to a win today if they have any chance. So. Um, I agree. I, I totally agree, but I, I, I definitely you can't sleep on that because, I mean, if I'm a if I'm an offensive coordinator and I know that, you know, one of the best teams in the league has two defensive linemen out, you're looking for a running back to step up to the plate. That's what that you, you're going to have to try to shove it down the throat a few times. And Peyton Barber, uh, I mean, he rushed for 134 yards, 135 yards, something something like that in three quarters. He didn't even get any touches in the fourth quarter. Right? Uh, the Bucks played the Eagles, so I feel like it's possible, man. And that Fletcher Cox was starting then; they had everybody on the defensive line. So I'm interested to see, man, because I I'm not a Colts fan, but um, I, I feel like the Colts are they, they used to be like a dynasty team. They really dropped off. Well, you know, losing Peyton Manning is definitely a big cause of that, as you could probably guess. And uh, I like your I like your theory. If you can establish the run today against the team who might be a little bit vulnerable against it. You know, especially when you're looking to make that a presence in your offense as well. Could be a good value play there. I do like the running back selection. Hines, you said, is only 3600 today. Might be a good value pick there. So, Sean, the intern, with some insider information. Um, getting back to my lineup today, running backs, Latavius Murray starting against Buffalo for Minnesota today. Okay. Dalvin Cook's out with an injury. Um, nothing like too that. serious, but he's not going to play. Uh, you, I, I mean, I agree with I, – I, I like that you agree with me, Sean, here. Latavius Murray is going to get the bulk load of the carries today. There's no um, really other back on the roster here to kind of split the workload with. He's going to get the passing game options. He's going to get the running game options. And Buffalo has just been absolutely atrocious on offense. Minnesota is going to get a majority of today's offensive possessions. I like any of their skill position players, to be honest with you. How long they're in is a, a better question, and how much, you know, how many targets do they get? I like I like Murray in this one just simply because I think he's going to get most of the workload, being that he's the only back on the field for them today. Look for him to have a big game against Buffalo. I like that. I like that. He's slept on, man. Ever since Dalvin Cook came into the league, uh, Latavius Murray was kind of pushed to the back. I know he got hurt last year towards the end of the season, but. I mean, he was a consistent runner when he was toting the rock, man. He's consistent. I like him a lot. But Dalvin, Dalvin Cook did his thing. He, he definitely earned that spot. But Latavius Murray needs to bounce back. It's going to be a nice day for him today, I think, against Buffalo at home. He's going to get to kind of slide back into that starting role and get some confidence back moving forward for the season. Uh, another guy getting some confidence moving forward, Matt Breida from San Francisco, going against the Kansas City Chiefs defense, who has not been good against the run this season. Um, he's definitely kind of established himself as the lead horse for this San Francisco offense. Kyle Shanahan runs a stretch game that is very potent in the running game for people who uh, can take advantage of it. Going back to his dad's days with Denver with guys like Terrell Davis and uh, any number of other guys who had 1,000-yard seasons that you can't name because they only did it the one year they played for the Shanahans. Matt Breida could be one of those guys this season. At a cheap price of 5400 I look for him to get me 13 to 15 points today. 
wide receiver. We already talked about T.Y. Hill and Emmanuel Sanders, one of those guys who's absolutely slept on and forgotten about for Denver. Um, and, and the guy, Case Keenum, I, I have been absolutely wrong about to start the season. He's looked great for, for the Broncos sliding into that quarterback role. Um, you know, he's going to look to target Sanders early and often against the Baltimore defense that has a great pass rush. He's going to go underneath. He's going to try and get that yak, that yards after catch. Look for Sanders to have a big game. Um, what do you think about that, Sean? Is Emmanuel Sanders a top tier receiver? I feel like a lot of people forget about him. He's a top tier receiver, but you got to remember he doesn't really have a lot of attributes like on the team. He not attributes. He doesn't have a lot of help. The Broncos are in a they're in a tough spot, man. They, they've been in a tough spot for a while. Um, they, 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 they are a very defensive that. team. I'm sorry. They're a very defensive team. Yeah, they, they're, there's they're very one sided. They kind of got a I don't know, man. I don't really have an opinion on that. We are live here. Thank you to intern Shirley for the breakfast. Oh my goodness, we are lit. It's the same time. Uh, Demarius Thomas, that's his name. Yeah, Tom Thomas. Thomas, Thomas is on that team as well. They don't really have much of a running game, um, you know, and, and with – uh, Keenum kind of sliding into the starting role for the first time. It's definitely something that they're adjusting to. But um, today's going to be a real good test against Baltimore for them, I think. Yeah. You know, I have uh, I play I play a couple different leagues, um, but uh, I, I know you guys don't really do the ESPN fantasy, but um, I'm sure we have some listeners and viewers that do. Oh yeah, most definitely. I, I'd love to get your give us your long term season picks here. Yeah, man, I, I, did, I ended up picking up Denarius Thomas, and he's been a consistent player. I did switch him with a flex, a super flex player. And, uh, for this weekend, I put Chris Hogan in, obviously. It's Chris Hogan, pretty raw. And uh, Denarius Thomas, he's just not consistent. The first week, he put up 14 points, which is pretty high for a receiver in the uh, ESPN fantasy. But towards the towards last game, he got pulled. He, got a, he hurt his hamstring, and he hasn't been the same. So I'm looking for him to bounce back this week because – I'm interested to see. I picked him up um, in another league. I claimed him. And I'm, I'm curious to see because I do not like Adam Humphreys I, for the Bucks, so I swapped him out with Adam Humphreys just to see what happens, and I'm interested in Because Demarius Thomas, like you said, I'm not, a, I'm not a Denver fan, but I think that they, they can pull it off. They, they need to pull it off because I like them. I got no reason to not like them. You know, and I, it's funny you say Chris Hogan because we haven't quite gotten to there yet, but I do love Chris Hogan today as well, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. Um, Thomas has always been a hitter and miss guy for me. He's kind of a boomer, a bust player, and, and he's been that way since he's been in the league, I feel like, which is why I like Sanders better than him because he's just so much more consistent. You know what you're going to get out of him. Yep. Um, moving on, Cooper Cup, wide receiver for the Rams, against the Chargers, pass defense, Never been very good to my recollection. I've, I can remember back to the days of Junior Seau, um, you know, being a force and, and them having a good run defense. And, and when Eric Weddle was back there, he was a guy who would get some, some key interceptions. But Chargers have always gotten eight up through the air. I think this is going to be one of those games. If you do like Jared Goff today as well, he could be another value play quarterback instead of luck. Um, look for the Rams to, to make some, some hayway through the air here. Today, Cooper Cup going to expose the the number two corner there for the Chargers. I think he's going to get a decent amount of receptions and a touchdown. Look for him to be a very good value play today. Um, the flex spot, Christian McCaffrey. Beautiful. You know how I feel about this guy, Sean. Um, Beautiful. You know, against the who are they playing? The Bengals, right? Yeah, they're playing Cincinnati. That, that, that's going to be a good game for Christian. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. And um, I'm not sure why Sean the intern's not popping up here on the on the screen here. Let me try and get Sean the intern back up on the screen. If um, I'm back up, get, I was looking at some stats. No, it's it's not even your 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 video screen itself wasn't on. Give us give us a little bit about McCaffrey. Give us your take on McCaffrey today. Playing against the Bengals defense, they're pretty tough up front. How do you think they can yeah. use him against against the Bengals? I feel like Christian McCaffrey, man, because the Bengals not only are they tough up front, but they're big. And Christian McCaffrey, man, he's one of those. He's uh, he's kind of like a more consistent to Quiz Rogers. Uh, he's quick, he's fast, he's elusive, and not only that, he he's, he's versatile. 
he can catch the ball out of the backfield and run, you know, yards after catch. He'll get, he leads the Panthers right now in y- YAC, yards after catch. Um, I don't know about contact, because uh, he is small. He kind of gets bullied around. He can't really block uh, yeah. when we're talking, you know, draft games. That doesn't matter. So yards and catches and touchdowns is what matters. I love Christian McCaffrey, man. I feel like if there's a team that he can dominate and really show his uh, show his butt, it's going to be the thing. It's going to be definitely against the Bengals. Yeah, and I appreciate you taking over there for me too, buddy. We got you back on the screen here. It's kind of a user error on my part. I figured out what I'll I did. Man, so. I, I'm bouncing back and forth because I like to look at how you look at your stuff live. I don't really have. The, nah, you're I'm good, bro. You're no, 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 no excuses. It was actually, like I said, my user error. Uh, your screen would be down in the corner usually still. So I just I didn't have you on my screen popped up correctly. So you're doing perfectly fine. Uh, like I said, great analysis. McCaffrey going against the Cincinnati team that's kind of like a front seven box heavy team. They're going to ex- try to expose the middle. They're going to try and take away the middle and make it go wide to the sideline. They have always been very fast under Marvin Lewis. They like speedy players. Um, McCaffrey is a guy whose quickness can expose this. They're going to use him in the passing game, and they're going to yeah. try and, and use him in the running game as well as much as possible. If he can get some tough in between the tackles yards to kind of make them come back into the middle so that they can continue to expose the outside quick game with them, I expect for him to have a big day, uh, excuse me, a big day. Um, maybe eight, eight catches, 70 yards, um, you know, reception wise, maybe, you know, six or seven carries, eight carries, hopefully, if he's hot, um, you know, maybe 40, 50 yards and a touchdown. Hopefully, maybe 20, 30 point day out of Christian McCaffrey against the Bengals. I, I look for him to have a big day carrying uh, that team over uh, Cincinnati in a win at home. Um, and then finally, defense, the Bears against an atrocious Arizona offense. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald has not been healthy this season. Sam Bradford's looked ugly at quarterback. David Johnson. Um, not quite the same since the injury. Everybody knows what he's going to do, so they're trying to stop him and expose him early in the game. Look for the Bears' ferocious defense to take advantage of it and uh, possibly get uh, some type of help on special teams as well. Don't say I'm calling it, but maybe a punt return by Tariq Cohen, the human joystick today at four. So, just saying. What do you think about that one, Sean? Is that bold? Hey, I, I'm still stuck on what you said, Bears and Man, how about those Bears? They're, the Bears are balling out right now, man. I, I love, I, I love watching them right now, man. Khalil Mack, they, dude, that defensive line is arguably one of the best in the league right now. And the, everybody talks about Khalil Mack, but as a Bears fan, who I've been, you know, I've been watching this team for a couple seasons now, when they've been really bad, a guy that's always been producing and playing well, Akeem Hicks, defensive what about tackle. Danny Danny Trevathan snaps now. Great linebacker. But getting back to that defensive line, Akeem Hicks eats up at the defensive tackle position. Every center and guard that I've seen him play against for the past three seasons, he's a great pass rusher. He exposes everything to the outside and allows guys like Khalil Mack to get one-on-one opportunities against inferior blockers. And they just absolutely are destroying people right now. So... Um, I'm loving what that Bears did, defense is doing under Vic Fangio. I want to see the offense come together a little bit, but it's only week three, so you know they'll start to put it together. Uh, real quick, I'll give out my baseball lineup for today. Also, we you know we do everything here on the Big D Show. Uh, pitchers: Wade LeBlanc and Anibal Sanchez. At catcher, I got Mike Zanino. Uh, first base is a rookie for the Yankees, Luke Voigt. Uh, Glaber Torres at second base for the Yankees. Eugenio Suarez at third. Uh, Lori Gurriel Jr. against the Rays today. Look for him to have a big day. And in the outfield, I got Ronald Ritsuna Jr. for the Braves. Shout out to the Braves for winning their first uh, NL East championship since 2002 when they had Chipper Jones. Uh, outfield, I got the Goon Bob Michael Conforto. And in the outfield, to finish it off, I got my boy Tommy Pham, the recent transaction for the Rays. Look for him to improve with that team as they start to get a little bit more pieces put together in the upcoming seasons if they can actually keep them together for once. So moving on to the other uh, DraftKings lineup for today before we take a quick musical break. We got uh, my dude, my T, a.k.a. Green Mike, and uh, Einstein the Mastermind with their track, Blow. 
We're going to play their music video after this before we get to our FanDuel lineup and our picks for today. So, another game I really like today, Sean, is Miami at home against Oakland. What do you think about the Raiders so far under John Gruden? Have they impressed you at all? No. Not, I mean, obviously there was just a lot of times, man, um, I feel like the NFL community is tricked into, you know, hype. Um, John Gruden, he brought a lot of hype. As with any other sports community, I feel like. Yeah, of course, but... I mean, you're talking John Green. I mean, obviously a Hall of Famer. He loves the game. You heard heard it in his voice when he was commentating. But you got to remember, he is the NFL man. Nobody's Superman. You know, it, it, it's a tough league. Um, I, I don't have any expectations for them, so I'm not surprised. I didn't expect to be impressed. Um, but if they are going to show out, then it'll be today. <laughs> you know, I mean, the Dolphins aren't the best team. So I, I think that they could could take the dub. Um, it's supposed to be a close game. The line's only three points. The Dolphins are the favorites. They are at home today. Yeah, then I, I don't see the Raiders. I, I don't know, man. I don't want to go against the Raiders, but we'll just have to see about that one. Man. I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be a good game. Um, one of the things about John Gruden's offense that a lot of people fail to recognize is how complex it is. Um. And it's hard to grasp, especially for a lot of the position players. Not not so much the quarterbacks. They tend to pick it up pretty quickly. But the position players have a hard time grasping the calls and, and figuring out the plays and why they're designed to go like that. And, um, you know, I, I think they're still putting that together and still trying to find their way a little bit. I look for Tannehill and, and the Miami offense under Adam Gase. Tannehill knows this offense. He's been in it for a couple of seasons, even though he was hurt. Um, last year, he, he does know the offense still. It's not like they changed coaches. It's not like they changed the game plan. Tannehill's still going to continue to play the game that he knows. He knows where he's trying to go within the confines of the offense. And I look for Miami to take a win today. Um, and we'll, we'll get to that a little bit more during our picks. But I look for Tannehill to have a, a big day as a value play as a quarterback. Oakland's not good defensively against the pass. Um, and, and not against the run either. They really haven't been good on defense at all. And I look for Kenyon Drake to have a good day out of the backfield for Miami as well at the running back position. Another another value play there for me. Um, and I've been high on Kenyon Drake all season. As if, if you go back and watch the replays, he's produced all season so far. Um, and he's really taken over as Miami's lead back. Just hope he doesn't get into a situation where Frank Gore can vulture a touchdown near the goal line. That's my only concern. Uh Running back, Jordan Howard against Arizona. They've been atrocious. Bears should have plenty of opportunities on offense today. Jordan Howard is the bell cow for this team. 1,400 yards, three straight seasons. This guy is the man. I look for him to continue his production today if Chicago uh, plans to be successful. Wide receiver, Tyreek Hill. I think this guy has kind of exploded out of nowhere on people because they don't necessarily watch the college football game. Man, this guy was in trouble a lot during college, but if you got to see some of his games and some of his production, you'll know how awesome this dude is and how he could expose people over the top. What do you think about Tyreek Hill, uh, Sean? Is he the most dangerous weapon in football right now? Oh, I mean, he tops out at 23 miles an hour. He burned Sean Jackson, you know, raced up um, and Disney's Wild World of Sports, which I remember, man, back in the day, Sean Jackson was the fastest, and, you know, it's insane to watch him play, and um, I actually had a buddy who ran track against him and said that he's never seen someone with as much horsepower, which in football, man, you can be fast, but if you don't have the horsepower, it's dangerous, man, and right when Tyreek gets to that outside, it's over for any team. I don't get what team you're talking about. Uh... Uh, he's yeah, got like he little design league design. speed almost, right? Like it's it's almost like yeah. when you were a kid that that guy who was so fast that you could just toss the ball to him and he would go around everybody. I feel like he's that guy in the NFL right exactly. now. Exactly. You hit it on the head. There's no better way to say that. Hey, uh, I, I'm gonna have to wrap it up here, man. But uh, before I go, man, I wanted everyone to keep an eye out on that uh, Saints the uh, Saints Falcons game today. That's gonna be a shootout, man. I I want to throw my prediction out there. I'm gonna say. 38 to 28 today. Saints. I want the Saints to win, man. 
I have the Saints as well today. I think that's a good pick on the road. I think they might expose their, uh, excuse me, Atlanta. So, uh, great pick. Any final words today, Sean? Thanks for coming on today, buddy. Nah, man. Shout out to everyone watching, man. Everyone that's going to watch. This will be up here, man. Share the links. Share the love, man. Share the picks. We do this for y'all, man, and it wouldn't happen without y'all. So, thanks, everyone, man. Glad to be back on, man. Y'all take it easy. Thanks for coming on. Sean, the intern, everybody. Back on the Big D Show, live here on Twitch TV for the first time. It's fantastic. We're so happy to have them. And, um, you know, we just got to move it forward here. We're losing Sean the intern. So let's get back to the DraftKings lineup. We got my boy T.Y. Hilton again in this one. I think he's going to have a big day. Keelan Cole has really produced as one of the lead dogs there in that Jacksonville offense. He's kind of become a, a chemistry guy for Blake Bortles. Look for him to get targeted early and often against Tennessee in that divisional matchup. Jacksonville really needs to take home a dub in that one. Bortles is going to have to be productive. Look for him to go to Cole early and often. Uh, again, the Bears, Trey Burton, been a weapon for the Bears. They've used him in the Wildcat tight end. He's been a wide receiver. Uh, they've handed him the football. He has a threat to throw. Um, he was a quarterback at the University of Florida. Look for him to get involved against Arizona in what should be a, uh, a good game for the Bears. And then finally, a value play for me today. Danny Amendola at the flex position. Um, Going to really start to look to involve himself in the offense. He's had a couple of catches, like four or five catches the first two weeks from Tannehill. Tannehill is really starting to build that connection with him, it looks like. He's always been a red zone threat. Look for him to get into the end zone today. I'm thinking maybe five or six catches, 60 yards, a touchdown, and a real value out of that $4,400 salary spot. So we're going to go ahead and lock that one in. That is DraftKings. Shout out to DraftKings. We're going to take a quick break here. Like I said, intern Shirley did hook it up with the breakfast, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can munch down some of this uh, while we go ahead and take this quick musical break. I want to introduce these two dudes. I have a couple of beats um, from this guy, Green Mike, um, super cool guy uh, out of Colleen, Texas. We got viewers from all over the world. Houston, Texas, shout out to y'all. Colleen now with, uh, with Green Mike. And then we do have Einstein, the mastermind, is on this track. He's up in Washington. We got viewers and love from all over all over the world. So once again, shout out to everyone who's been watching and supporting the show since we were, you know, a musical uh, station on the radio. You know, now that we're live on Twitch TV, we're just getting bigger and better. Again, shout out to my boy Sean the Intern for being on the show today. We're taking a quick break here. This is their song, Blow, with their recent music video. Shout out to them and shout out to everyone for tuning in. We'll be right back with Jimmy Knox's plays of the day. This is the Big D Show. Stay tuned. I'm 
Boy, my T, Einstein, the mastermind. That was their track, Blow. They are the outsiders. Go check them out on Facebook at We Are the Outsiders. I know my T's I am Matt Green, or excuse me, at I am Green Mike. Anywhere you can follow him. Shout out to those guys. Uh, we'll have some more um, music with my T coming up soon. I got some of his beats. Won in this contest a while back, actually, so I gotta actually go ahead and use them. So, but shout out to those guys, supporters of the show for a long time. So I figured I'd show some love, and get them back here on the uh, on the show. Moving on to our FanDuel lineups of the day. I mean, not too much variation, but a couple of guys that you might be able to plug and play. Again, I love the Bears today. I mean, you guys know it. I'm a Chicago guy. I think they're going to have a lot of success against Arizona. Who really just hasn't looked good so far. So, Bears defense, like I said earlier, with Sean the intern. Um, look for them to possibly go ahead and uh, get a special teams touchdown today. Let me go ahead and move Sean the intern's video off of there. Shout out to him again. So going back, Tannehill today, love him against Oakland. I look for Miami to put it together on offense. Uh, Tannehill just getting comfortable and looking good in that in that system. I look for him to connect with Kenny Stills, who I do have in this lineup. Number one target for the Dolphins. Guy who was vastly underused in New Orleans, I feel like. That's kind of blossomed and bloomed really since he's gotten to the Dolphins. And uh, definitely worth the price tag that they went ahead and paid for him. He needs to continue to produce. Look for him to do so today. Jordan Howard talked about his production. Chris Thompson, a guy we've taken on the show here the past two weeks, and he's been a vital part of that Washington offense. Washington at home against the Packers today. Thompson, a guy who's going to be used a lot in the passing game, especially with Alex Smith not really being a down-the-field type thrower. He's going to check it down to Thompson, who gets a lot of yards after the catch. Um, he's going to move the sticks for them. He's going to set them up in favorable situations. Might get a couple of early carries. Look for him to produce today. And uh, if he gets the hot hand, they'll continue to go with him. Wide receiver Allen Robinson, red zone threat. Could have a big day today. Could be very productive. I look for him as a mid-range wide receiver price tag to uh, you know kind of get you going and 
and be a guy you can plug in and play in your lineup if you don't like my other wide receiver options. A wide receiver, uh, finally, A.J. Green, star-studded wide receiver. Um, doesn't matter who he's going up against, he's going to produce. If Cincinnati has any chance against Carolina today, he's going to be the guy who's going to have to step up. If you believe that Cincinnati is going to beat Carolina today, you take A.J. Green in your lineup and you ride him to the finish line as he will have to have a huge, monstrous day if they are to get the win today, in my opinion. Trey Burton, we talked about already. Finally, at the flex position, Keenan Allen against the Rams. Similar situation with A.J. Green. Phillip Rivers has been hot to start the season. The Rams are a difficult defense, though. They have a monstrous pass rush. Can Phillip Rivers get it out early enough? Keenan Allen's going to have to have one of those 12 to 15 type reception games to keep them in it. Um, they're going to have to target him a lot. He's going to have to get open. There's no reason he can't do it. He's a Pro Bowl caliber receiver, one of the best players in the league at the receiver position. I look for him to live up to his price tag, especially not being as high as it normally is this week against the Rams. He could take home a good amount of uh, points today for you. I look for him to be in the 20 to 30 point range today. I'm thinking maybe a touchdown or two as well. So finally, Bears defense. That is our fan duel lineup of the day. Go ahead and get it in right now. DomasaurusRex.com. Shout out to everyone for watching again. Let's get to our picks. I know you've been waiting for them, trying to get them in. I got my boy Jimmy Knox's plays here live from Vegas. Let's go ahead and give them to you now. We've been talking about them a lot through the show. Most of my you know, lineups are based around these plays because it's more fun to root for your team like that. So, The Bucks this week over the Steelers at home tomorrow night. It's an even line. It's a push game. Pick your side. I like the Bucks at home. Jimmy Knox likes the Bucks at home. Fitz Magic. It's in our other lineup here that we've been playing on. Um, well, let's go ahead and pull it up. We said yesterday we were going to show you, actually. So let's go ahead and pull it up. We're going to go ahead and, and get it off the screen here for a moment while we log back in. But, uh, yeah, we'll show you the rest of the lineup. We got Fitz Magic, of course. Riding that until the Bucks lose. So, you know, if you don't lose, keep going with it. Don't, you know, switch something that ain't broken. Go to our live here. And we gave you the picks on Thursday, folks. Neg Dog, if you're watching them on his live on Facebook, be sure to go to Neg Dog Studios. Go to Neg Dog on, on Facebook, Gambino, Puglisi, follow him, and you'll see uh, his picks. He's going to start going live here from the channel as well. Underground Sports Network affiliate. Gave you Isaiah Crowell. And a losing effort to the Browns, but had a great game. Only 4.6% of all owners had him at a cheap price tag, only 6,400. Was beneficial to you at 18 points. Super big play. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Jordan Howard, of course, got him in every other lineup. Going with the wide receivers again for the Bucks. Deshaun Jackson and Mike Evans. Chris Hogan, you heard it earlier from Sean the intern, against Detroit. His former defensive coordinator, they went against each other every day in practice. They know what he's trying to do. They're going to expose Chris Hogan in the slot and try and get him the ball early, often, third down, whenever they can. I look for Chris Hogan to have a big game, 6 to 10 catches, maybe somewhere hopefully about 8 catches, 80 yards, hopefully a touchdown. That would be huge at his salary, especially against Detroit, who's been severely struggling. I look for Bill Belichick to absolutely bury his former defensive coordinator. O.J. Howard, of course, Cameron Braid hasn't really produced so far this season. O.J. Howard's the big play threat. Fits magic to O.J. Howard. Coach really loves that one. So, we, like I said, we, we picked this one together. So, stay with it. Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, with the salary that we did have left, we decided to go with him. The Bucks have been uh, giving up a lot of yards in the passing game. Schuster's going to be kind of the forgotten man in the offense. Um, look for him to get open pretty frequently, and we look for him to have a big game if Pittsburgh looks to kind of stay with the Bucks at all. It's an even line, so we expect it to be fairly close. Um, Schuster's a good play here against that Bucks defense. And finally, we took the Bears on D. Once again, um, they should absolutely hose the Cardinals today. So that is our uh, final lineup for you today. 
from our Thursday to Sunday. If you didn't get it on Thursday, I apologize, but those are some other options for you today as well. Back to Jimmy Knox's plays. Bears over Arizona, minus six. Take them with the spread. Take them straight. Uh, the Bears today all the way. And then finally, Miami at home against Oakland. Um, only minus three, and that's minus 110. Good return on your investment. Um, I like Miami to, to cover the spread today against Oakland for about a 7-10 to 10 point victory. John Gruden's team still looking to put it together, I feel like. Finally, my other picks for today. Uh, Indianapolis at Philly. I look for Indy to keep it close. Philly gets their first win today with Carson Wentz back under center, though. I like Carolina at home uh, against Cincinnati. Cam Newton and Kirsten McCaffrey carried them to victory there. Uh, Jacksonville at home against Tennessee. That team is too strong. They took home the, the, a victory against the Patriots last week. Um, Tennessee just not quite in the same caliber, I feel like. Uh, New Orleans at ATL. We talked about it earlier with Sean. I like New Orleans on the road today. I uh, look for them to get off the schneid uh, as they haven't won in a couple of weeks. Uh, finally, uh, getting into the end of the 1 o'clock games, Denver over Baltimore. I like Case Keenum to put it together on the road. The Giants uh, get a victory over Houston today on the road. Um, I like Barkley to kind of have a, a decent day today, and Eli is just going to be manageable today. I don't look for him to do anything spectacular, but look for him to not turn the ball over and get the monkey and the critics off his back. Um, Washington at home over Green Bay. I like Washington straight, um, but you know Green Bay straight is a good option as well. I definitely like Washington to cover the spread, plus three at home, though I love home underdogs. Uh, Minnesota at home against the Bills. Look for them to win big. Uh, Kansas City at home against San Francisco. I like KC in that one as well. They've been real strong. Um, look for that to continue against San Francisco. Still kind of putting it together. Uh, the Rams at home against the Chargers. I like them as well. The, the Rams, um, too much for the Chargers, but it's going to be closer than people think. Uh, Chicago on the road at Arizona. I like the Bears again. Uh, Dallas on the road at Seattle. Seattle's offensive line is absolutely atrocious. I feel so bad for Russell Wilson. Um, he's put that team on his back, but he has little to no help besides Doug Baldwin. Um, Will Disley, a guy, a tight end, that is a good option for you if you're looking for a cheap play. Um, Dallas doesn't really cover the tight end very well, uh, so look for them to you know attack them, and Disley's looked good so far this season as a weapon. They need a weapon, and, and if he steps up, that could help them, but I like Dallas. They're too much. And finally... Uh, New England at Detroit, the Pats, take the Pats, take the Pats. Woo! That is the fastest two minutes in sports. Faster than Chris Berman's two minutes in sports. Shout out to the legend. I appreciate him. Um, you know, I appreciate everybody for checking us out today. Of course, if you're not already, follow the stream. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you're uh, new to this, Go check us out on YouTube. We got all of our replays. We are new here on Twitch TV. Uh, you know, we're on YouTube for a long time. The replays are on our YouTube channel from our podcast that was on Blog Talk. It was real successful over there. We've changed platforms. Um, just happy to be over here. Happy to have the new technology. Happy to be able to stream for you guys. And and this is you know just super cool and an honor for me. And I appreciate y'all for checking it out and tuning in. Um, and like I said, if you're not already, like, subscribe, subscribe, uh, go to domasourcerex.com, check out my music, check out the shows, check out the videos, go look at everything and, and um, you know, play these plays, use the links for the FanDuel and DraftKings at Domasaurus Rex, get a special bonus, and, and win along with me. I'm winning, folks. We're winning. We cash out daily. All right? You keep enough to reinvest, but you cash out daily, and, and hopefully we're winning big here today. So shout out to y'all. Um, and good luck on this Sunday. We killed yesterday on the plays with college football, so we hope you killed yesterday. We hope you kill it again today. Shout out to Jimmy Knox and the Underground Sports Network. Shout out Sean the Intern. Um, shout out to Greenhawk Studios. Shout out to uh, Echo Sykes. Uh, shout out to um, excuse me, Mighty and um, Einstein the Mastermind. We got my dog Ike Royal to end today's show. His video for his new song, Know Me. I hope y'all enjoy. Thank you for tuning in again. DomasaurusRex.com. This is No Me, Ike Royal. We'll be back next Sunday for some more NFL action. And uh, 
And of course, as always, much love. This is your boy D-Rex. Peace. track know me be sure to check that out on youtube be sure to go check us out on youtube again domasaurusrex.com domasaurusrex is the youtube channel follow like share subscribe i do play games here on twitch as well shout out to everybody who tuned in today shout out to everybody tuning in weekly and, and be sure to follow us on facebook um gambino Puglisi, he goes live during the week that's our underground sports network affiliate giving you live streams, plays, and all that as well. He's going to be going live here on the channel. Be sure to catch him during the week. And um, once again, just shout out to everybody. Shout out to the sponsors, Greenhawk Studios, most specifically. Uh, sorry that whatever happened with the original stream today, I apologize. Um, we'll get the set in and on next week again. And um, yeah, shout out to everybody again. Good luck today. FanDuel.com, DraftKings.com. Use the links at DomasaurusRex.com. Go play my lineups. Go check it out on the replay on YouTube here. I'm getting it uploaded now. And, uh, yeah, shout out.